I'm going to show you how to make this asymmetrical draped skirt that can be purchased on sites like gojane.com and forever21.com. Isn't it so cute? To make this skirt, you'll need a skirt that fits you well to use to make your pattern. You'll need one and a half yards of stretchy fabric, elastic to make your waistband, scissors, pins, measuring tape, and something to draw on your fabric with. Okay, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is fold your fabric hot dog style. Take one end of your fabric and vertically bring it over to the other side of the fabric. Then take your skirt and fold it in half vertically, hot dog style. Place it on the fabric so that the fold of the skirt lines up with the fold of the fabric. Then trace the skirt. Now create a half inch seam allowance line along the bottom of the skirt and a one inch seam allowance line along the side of the skirt and then a one and a half seam allowance line at the top of the skirt. Your pattern should now look like this. For security, pin the pattern down along the first lines that were drawn. So not the seam allowance lines, but the original lines. And then cut out the pattern. Open the pattern and elongate the top and the bottom lines that were previously drawn when the fabric was folded. Do not even waste your time elongating that line on the side. Instead, draw a new half inch seam allowance line on the left side of the pattern and on the right side of the pattern. Now you want to create a pattern like this for the back of the skirt. In order to do this, you need to repeat everything that you've done until now. The only difference is that you need to remember to elongate the side line of the skirt so that the original line and the seam allowance line reaches the bottom of the fabric. So you're basically using all of the fabric that you have left vertically. Now you should have two pieces that look like this. One piece is for the front and one piece is for the back of the skirt. You want to sew the two pieces together. So take the smaller pattern, which will be the front of your skirt, lay it flat so that the lines that you drew are underneath and cannot be seen. Take the longer pattern and place it on top of the front of the skirt. Make sure that the lines are facing up. So basically your skirt is inside out. Go along the half inch seam allowance lines on the left and on the right side of the skirt. And remember to top stitch. Oh, and of course, don't forget to stitch along the half inch seam allowance line at the bottom of the front of the skirt. Wrap the elastic around your waist. Remember, don't stretch it and make a mark of the exact fit of the elastic. Measure one centimeter away from the line you made on the elastic and then add another line. This second line will be for reinforcement purposes to make sure that the elastic doesn't come apart when it's stretched. So when you sew, it should look like this. This is exactly where the elastic fits around the waist and this is the extra overlap seam allowance line. And I just went over it about like two or three times and it's important to really make sure that you sew over it 
multiple times so that when you know you're putting your skirt on and it's stretching it doesn't like break it doesn't come apart and then what you want to do is you want to put um, make sure that your skirt is still inside out and then you want to put the elastic at the top of the skirt and you just want to pin it so make sure that the edge of the elastic meets the edge of the, the skirt and you just pin it all the way around make sure that where the, the elastic is sewn it connects with um, the seam allowance and you just want to do it all the way around okay and then you want to just sew along the top of the elastic so remember you're not you're not stretching anything when you sew you're just sewing comfortably along the top and then after you sew along the top you want to fold it over like so and then you would basically sew just this side and this side and in the front it'll look like a normal skirt it won't look like it has an elastic inside of it so now that you've inserted your waistband you want to fold your skirt so that it kind of looks like one of those pillowcases that opens up in the middle rather than at the top in order to fold your skirt like this you want to first make sure that your skirt is not inside out and then make sure that the front of the skirt is facing up Take the bottom of the back part of the skirt and horizontally fold it upward so that the bottom of the back of the skirt meets the bottom of the front of the skirt. Then sew along the dotted line shown in the diagram. We have literally just sewn along here. Okay, we have pinned it but we sewn along. Um, so what you want to do, you want to take this part and you just literally want to lift it up it all the way over okay all the way over and what should happen is you should get a triangular shape okay so from here to here is a triangular shape what you want to do is you want to sew from here all the way down until you reach the corner of the first layer of the skirt what you want to do is you want to take the corner of your skirt and you want to just run your finger along so that you can find the triangle so it should look like this and you basically want to wrap it around so that it reaches the top of your skirt on the other side of where the corner is then you want to pin it down you want to take the bottom and you want to literally fold it in half so over and this corner should meet the corner of your knee so right here so you literally just fold it straight over like so and then you want to pin And then you want to pin here okay so then you want to sew straight across here okay when you take the skirt off you can continue with the straight line going here make sure that the line is straight so you have to draw it and then use your sewing machine to sew along the line and and also don't forget um, that if you want this stitch to be hidden you need to lift this up when you're sewing so that it only sh so that the stitch only comes here and also holds this down but if you don't mind then you can sew normally but you'll have a stitch going across here and there is your 